and gentlemen, welcome to Towns County High School for day three of the Battle of the States Christmas Tournament. Today's third place game will be played between the Union County Lady Panthers and the Polk County Lady Wildcats. Would everyone please rise and remove their hats for the playing of our national anthem? And now the starting lineup for Union County. Number three, Brooke Dockery. Number five, Kate McCarter. Number 14, Andalyn Hill. Number 23, Ellie Cook. And number 45, Ava Hunter. The Lady Panthers are coached by Crystal Beach. And now the starting lineup for Polk County. Number two, Kaylee Cox. Number three, Katie Lowe. Number four, Michaela Howard. Number 11, Courtney Farr. And number 12, Mackenzie Maxwell. The Lady Wildcats are coached by Caleb Hyman. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. 26th Annual Battle of the States Tournament. This is the girls' consolation game, third place game. Um, the visitors will be the Union County Panthers. And the home team will be the Polk County Wildcats from Tennessee. Union starts three seniors, a sophomore and a freshman. Polk starts one senior, two, two juniors, two sophomores. Ellie Cook gets the opening look with a miss. Ava Hunter corrals the rebound and finishes. First points of the game. Union County has a kick ball. Union opening up in the 1-2-2 full court press. Usually falling back into a pack line man. Union with the trap. Polk still in it. Gets a look there to number 12. Ball corralled by Hunter. Polk County opens up in the man. And Hunter called for the walk. Union still in the one, two, two. Dockery knocks the ball out of bounds. Union had great success on this against Walhalla, but pretty well got picked apart uh, last night by the Murphy Bulldogs. Pretty sure Polk's coach wanted the girl to shoot the ball. It takes Sherlock Holmes to figure that out. Polk still in the man. Most teams don't stay in the man long against you. Annalyn Hill with a rebound. Shot is missed, but she will shoot two. 
That foul is on number 11, Courtney Farr. Her first, team first. Hill goes one for two. Union still in the full court. Looks like Dockery there will be called for the foul. Her first, team first. Union in the man now. Dockery went for the steal there, almost had it. Number 11, Courtney Farr on the drive. That is number three, Katie Lowe. Ties the score. Hunter inside for two. Union still in the trap. Polk does a nice job breaking it. Michaela Howard shot challenged by Hunter. Out of bounds. 34 and 14. Tori Harden and Aubrey Long check in for the Wildcats. And Polk County has gone to the zone. Good ball movement there by the Panthers. Andlin Hill. The camp counselor has given uh, White County bench, or the White, uh, White team bench, which would be Polk County bench, a sideline warning. Union still in the press, looking pretty active here. She stepped on the line. Union causes a turnover. Polk now going to the 2-3 look. Didn't even look much inside there. Union still in the in, and a little more aggressive man, pushing out a little bit more. That girl's a pretty good shooter. Does not knock it down that time. Number 11 though does. That is Courtney Farr. You know, Polk County teams typically like the long distance jumper. And you know, in a lot of ways, they're quite good at it. Annalyn Hill. On the drive. Ellie Cook with a steal. Good look inside. Hunter with a rebound. McCarter with the with the errant three. Last night was Union not Union County's best night from the three point line. They went one for a whole lot. Ellie Cook with a rebound. When you think about it, there's only one more than I made, and I didn't even play. Hunter gets the layup in transition, but misses, but will be shooting. Ellie Cook with a previous rebound and the outlet pass.
Locklear, and Corinne Hill, Riley Allison all check in, replacing the three seniors. Hunter goes one for two. Ball is out of bounds, but it's out to Polk County. Hunter with a rebound. Union with numbers. And Hunter gets a walk. You can subs pretty well wholesale. Seniors return, along with Rebecca Chambers, sophomore. Union stays in the man. Polk runs a lot of the, the dribble drive style where you've got a lot of dribble handoffs, high screens, kind of three-man weave looking for things to happen and you lose a player uh, on the three-point line, which for them, as good as shooters they are, is good strategy. And Hill knocks down a three. McCarter with a steal, and she finds Dockery. Thirty-four. Harden misses the three-point opportunity. Dockery sets the offense for the Panthers. Chambers finds Dockery on the nice cut. And Polk County calls their first timeout. We'll be back shortly. Word from our sponsors. For over 25 years, Carter Insurance and Investments has provided the Union County area with quality and competitive products for life, health, and disability insurance, as well as Medicare supplements. As an investment advisor representative, Carter Insurance and Investments can help you build an investment plan that's best for your financial situation. To learn more, stop by and meet our friendly staff. We're located on Young Harris Street, across from the post office in Blairsville. And we're back. Union still in the one, two, two full. Now they've backed into a two, three. Well, maybe, I, they may still be in, line, in a packed man. Hunter with a rebound. Finds Hill. Allison on the nice drive, but then got the ball slapped away. McCarter with a block. Hill on the errant layup off the screen for McCarter. Hunter cleans up the mess. But the big thing there that's a positive, that was a good ball screen and a good job getting to the lane. That's one thing the Panthers did not do as much of last night. Dockery. And Locklear check back. And Dockery gets to the lane, but she's called for the offensive. 
one of those things though at the same time you know you're not happy about her picking up a second foul but you are happy about her, her offensive assertiveness a lot of Brooks play you know with any time you have a have your point guard your point guard a lot of times sets the tone for your team and that's the end of the first, Union 19-6. We'll be back shortly. When you combine quality products, excellent customer service, and the best prices in the area, the result is Hemp Hill Vinyl Siding and Metal Roofing. In business since 1963, Hemp Hill Vinyl Siding and Metal Roofing has served the surrounding area with a variety of home improvement supplies. Everything from vinyl siding in many colors, trim pieces, shutters, soffits, vents, and accessories. Hemp Hill Vinyl Siding and Metal Roofing, located west of Lairsville on Highway 515. And now we're returning. Second quarter action. Union County up 19-6 over the Polk County Wildcats from Tennessee. Hill with the rebound. She is fouled by number 14, Aubrey Long. That is team third, her second, no her first, I'm sorry. <laughs> Ellie, Ellie Cook's pass rose a little bit there. Hill is tall, but not quite Randy Moss. Hill on the rebound. Pushes the ball. Too many dribbles there. Hill on the nice cut and finishes. That is on number 14, Aubrey Long, her second. Team fourth. Hill misses the single. Kate McCarter and number four, Michaela Howard right there, a little bit quick with the footwork before she got the ball on the ground. Um, Locklear returns, as does Cook, replacing McCarter and Hill. Union, uh, Union uh, plays about eight. They're usually about eight, maybe nine deep. Uh, but they, they keep them sub pretty fresh. Ball in to Hunter, who scores. As assist from Ellie Cook. Cook who makes the assist and then makes the big hustle play on the backside. She has been 
a real bright spot for the Panthers as a freshman and one that has definitely helped uh, help the team out with both her scoring and her ability to defend outside. That was number 23. Allison left open, and she buries it. 26-8, Panthers. And Cook with the finish. Hunter on the attempted steal. Ball retains possession for the Wildcats. Union is losing three seniors this year. Like I said, all of which who have a lot of varsity experience. However, there's quite a bit of quality on the bench and in the games for them in the underclassmen. Again, the dribble handoffs. Typical a lot of the dribble drive motion. They test your they test your uh, discipline defensively. Hunter with a foul. Team third. Her first. Dockery checks. As does Chambers. One thing that you may not see right there paying attention, Cook did a really nice job recognizing that open lane right there and made the switch. Courtney Farr on the layup. This is one thing that's plagued Union, Union is they do not move the ball rapidly at times. McCarter. on the assist from Dockery. That foul is on number 25, Kira Aiken. Her first, team fifth. I have to start bringing me a score book up here to keep up with all this mess. McCarter finishes the three point play. That's the thing, you foul Kate, it's gonna cost you, you know, if she makes it, it's gonna cost you three most of the time. And if she doesn't, it's gonna cost you two. She's been an outstanding three point, or free throw shooter for the Panthers. Foul is drawn on Andalyn Hill. Number 12, Mackenzie Maxwell will be shooting. That's Hill's first, team fourth. Hunter with a rebound. Out to Hill. That's a good drive right there. But they call. Kate McCarter for the offensive foul. You know when you're po that's a hard call. You know I know you can't uh, you can't you know moving screen a defender like that. But when you're in the post position, that's kind of hard because you're already you're already battling for post presence as it is. Hunter on the rebound. Dockery off the Hunter screen and buries it. Ball in and out of the hounds. Of number 11, Courtney Farr. Courtney so far the leading scorer for the Wildcats.
Locklear. His foul. That foul is on number 13. Her first, team sixth. Aubrey England. And the Polk County fans behind here are grumbling about it. Lockley are 0 for 2. Hill with the rebound. Dockery on the drive and finishes. Chambers is going to pick up the foul there. Her first looks like team sixth. Two for two from the line. Courtney Farr. The Panthers, I don't think they're sure what offense they're in right here. We have Hill right next to Dockery. I don't think these people understand that when you leave the lane, three seconds restarts. Union Wholesale Subs, McCarter, Hunter, Cook, Corinne Hill. Hunter gets her own rebound. Polk County looking to push. Carter with a nice challenge. Union caught sleeping. That's a good hustle play by number 12 right there, Mackenzie Maxwell. Keeps the ball alive for the Wildcats. Uh, Polk County subs, 44, Becca Harden. I didn't see the others and I don't have a spotter. 21, Miranda Clark. Like I said, I don't have a spotter, so I missed the earlier basket from Polk. That was uh, number two, Kaylee Cox, the junior. Courtney Farr to the line. McCarter with the rebound. Union with numbers. Should they take advantage? Hill with the offensive foul. Her second, team seventh. That looks like a foul on Allison. Looks like her first, team, I had eight, but maybe I'm wrong. Looks like team ninth. Kaylee Cox finishes the front end of the one and one. And completes both.
Locklear subs. Number two, Kaylee Cox with the foul after the steal. And that, I believe, is one and one territory for the Panthers. Oh, no, they did not call that on Cox. They called that on Courtney Farr, which is her third. And that hurts the Wildcats because the leading scorer has to leave play right now. Chambers with the front end of the one and one. Chambers has been a much improved player for the Panthers over the last over the last year. And the camp counselor issues a technical. One minute left. Chambers with a rebound. Off the foot of Mackenzie Maxwell. Allison in. Finds Chambers. They call three seconds on Locklear. <laughs> Panther ball. I just, I, I'm kind of at a loss. I don't know what's going on right there. I'm sorry. Get caught up watching the game sometimes. Hard part about being a fan and an announcer. Union County holds for the last shot, it looks like. Nine remaining. Cook to take it. No good. That score finishes Union County 40, Polk County 16. We'll be back for second half action from tonight's consolation game.
When you combine quality products, excellent customer service, and the best prices in the area, the result is Hemp Hill Vinyl Siding and Metal Roofing. In business since 1963, Hemp Hill Vinyl Siding and Metal Roofing has served... From all of us at Hemp Hill Vinyl Siding, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And don't forget, Jesus, Jesus is the reason for the season. And we're back, 26th Annual Battle of the Stakes. Hill inside to Hunter. Ball is blocked out of bounds by number 13, Sarah England. Hill on the nice cut, turns it over. Nope. Ball is still Panthers. Hunter inside. McCarter and Dockery. Hill up with it. Carter. Ava Hunter with a foul. Her first team, or sorry, her second team first. Number four, Michaela Howard, completes the front end of the two shots. And two for two. Second violation against the Panthers. Kate McCarter with the rebound. Hunter for two. seems to be switching the screens a lot. Especially if it's big to big. Katie Lowe gets loose right there for a three. to McCarter and a finish. Union doing some of their own dribble drive. That was a nice drive by number three, Katie Lowe, but a missed finish by Mackenzie Maxwell. Good basketball play though. Hill for three. Timeout, Panthers, 49-21. Back in a few moments, word from our sponsors.
from all of us at Hemphill Vinyl Siding, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And don't forget, Jesus, Jesus is, is the reason, reason for the season. season. And we resume play, 49-21, Panthers over the Lady Wildcats, Polk County, Tennessee. Polk County running the dribble drive motion. Ball off Raleigh Allison. Polk County ball. That was number three right there, Katie Lowe with the three-pointer. She's found her groove and she's knocked down three triples so far this game. A couple of the Polk County fans behind me have been helping me spot. And that's been big advantage right there for me. Ellie Cook snags the rebound and is fouled. That foul looks to be on number 13, Sarah England, her second. Team first. Cook shooting two. And she knocks them both down. Good contributing freshman right there. Cook does a good job fighting over the screen also. Hill staying, Hill and, and Allison switch little to little. Number 14, Aubrey Long. Chambers corrals. Cook to the rim, does not finish. Union call for the foul. Locklear call for her first foul, team second. She's replaced by McCarter. Ridgeline TV bringing you tonight's game, or this afternoon's game case would be. This is Tim Hunter. I'm here with John Moon. We are still wondering the whereabouts of Jeff Batten and Leland Sorrell. And Krieger. I know where Krieger is. That's why I wasn't wondering. Chambers with a nice move and finish. We said very improved player from last year to this is the sophomore. Polk tends to be doing a little bit more face cuts. Basket cuts right there to the open. Now they're back to the dribble drive. That ball is turned over to McCarter, who looks to push, finds Chambers. That's a good hustle play right there by Katie Lowe, not to allow the layup, but the ball is still Panther ball. So he said ball too many times. And we have a sub right here. Number four, Michaela Howard. Hunter's shot misses. Corral by number 12, Mackenzie Maxwell. That's good hands right there by Riley Allison. What a spoiled, lay, spoiled a layup attempt. 
where a would have been layup attempt. Hunter with the block, but it's still out of bounds. Polk County ball. Courtney Fars checked back in. She had some foul difficulty in the first half. Was the team's leading scorer in the first half. Mackenzie Maxwell. Corinne Hill with a steal. And it looks like Michaela Howard is going to be called for the foul. Her first, team second. And the Polk County faithful, not impressed. Hill shooting two. One for two. That ball's off Chambers. I'll go ahead and call it for him. He did a good job, though, trying to get to the offensive glass. Hill for Hill. Union up 30. Two minutes to go in the third. Dockery's also checked back in. That's a, that was a good play there. She probably should have taken the shot. Courtney Farr from Farr. Locklear with a rebound to Hill. So far, far is probably my pick for all tournament team, but I don't get a vote. Probably should. Dockery inside and is fouled. That foul is on Michaela Howard, her second, team third. Yep, Courtney Farr. Katie Lowe have been really leading the charge um, for the Lady Cats. Union has fairly balanced scoring with Dockery, Hill, McCarter, and Hunter, and then several others contributing. Dockery finishes her two-shot trip. Rook, pretty tenacious defender right there. That's a good drive. And a score by Mackenzie Maxwell. Those are one of those things that dribble drive really opens up. Especially if you get a post player who remains in the paint and doesn't get outside to give you the to give you that help. Those things happen. And Dockery. Hunter cleans it up. Even though that was on my daughter, that was a block. And it uh, appears there is an injury. So we're going to take, um, I don't know if John's going to take a, a, a quick radio timeout or station timeout. Sorry. Locally owned since 1980, Leon's Flooring is your full-service flooring store with the largest showroom in the area, guaranteed to save you money with over 50 years of total sales experience. The folks at Leon's Flooring are experts in ceramic tile, carpet, hardwoods, and vinyl. Located at 568 Murphy Highway in Blairsville, next to the Mexican restaurant and across from Mike's Seafood. Leon's Flooring, call them today at 706-745-9433. Oh, and by the way, say hello to Diesel while you're there.
and we're back. The injured player was Mackenzie Maxwell, number 12 for the Polk County Lady Wildcats, who had really been having a great second half, and we hope that that is no serious injury. Um, she would have been shooting two. She's going to be replaced as the shooter by number 14, Aubrey Long. She will be shooting two, makes the first. Knocks down two. So Aubrey Long in the scores book. Union County, Union County going four out, one in against the man. Docker is blocked, but finds McCarter, who is fouled by Kira Aiken, her second team. I have four, and I am correct. Takes a minute to get it up on the board. McCarter shooting two, second half of that trip. Kate, one for two. They lost Courtney Farr there. Polk County lost track of time there. And that brings the end of the third quarter. Union 59, Polk 28. Word from our sponsors. We'll be right back. This holiday, enjoy the festive season with authentic Mexican cuisine at the Mesquite Grill in Blue Ridge, Georgia. Juan Antonio and the staff of the Mesquite Grill cook up delicious and authentic Mexican dishes. You'll enjoy south of the border favorites like steaming hot fajitas, burritos, chimichangas, tacos, and more. Put some spice in your holiday season at the Mesquite Grill, open daily, located at 4860 Appalachian Highway in Blue Ridge, Georgia. And we return, 26th Annual Battle of the States. <clears throat> Polk County Trails Union, 28-59. We'll be playing an abbreviated fourth quarter here. So that is your SAT word for shorter. Collins defends, Kaylee Cox. And Kira Aiken is fouled. Correction, that was Kyra Aiken. <clears throat> I put the emphasis on the wrong syllable. John Moon gets a chuckle. I'm the best money John Moon has never spent. Doing this right here. <clears throat> Kyra and Kyla. Tied up. And that's a foul on Locklear. It's team fifth, but I've missed one somewhere. Oh, I missed the last foul.
Locklear with a rebound. Out to Davis. To Ren Hill. To Locklear who scores. Pretty much all these kids on the floor for Union right now in, in geometry this year. Bunch of good basketball players, also a bunch of smart kids. Courtney Farr completes her trip. Ren Hill looking to get to the lane. That's a good floater. There's nothing wrong with that. Locklear is fouled on the offensive rebound. Corinne does a pretty good job getting to the rim. And she's got a good little jump shot. We're going to have Locklear to the line for two. She drains the first. But misses the second. <clears throat> Far pushes. They lost her. She puts up a three. Hill being pressured by two. That's a nice play right there. Kaylee Cox to Aubrey Long. Collins drives and almost finishes at the other end. Cox pushing the ball. Union doing a good job with their deflections. They call that foul on Courtney Farr. And that is her fifth. Team fifth. <laughs> Kaylee Davis. Chambers. And looks like Sanchez called for the three seconds. Corinne with a rebound. Pushes ahead. They're trying to double her most times. She does a good job finding Chambers. Who finishes? Chambers with the left hand. Besides the fact it was a good offensive move, that's, that's positive to see when you see a post player being able to finish both hands inside like that. Kaylee Davis with a towering rebound. Kaylee Cox with a steal. Aubrey Long. Gets the rebound, and will shoot to, uh, shoot an additional one. Kaylee Davis picks up the foul. Our first team seventh. And she completes the old school three pointer. Too many people remember when there wasn't even a three-point. Don't remember, sorry, when there wasn't even a three-point line. 
Okay, the Cox girl causes a turnover right there. She's been really active. She's a high motor player. And she'll be back one more year uh, for the Wildcats. She'll look to feature again next year along with Courtney Farr. Katie Lowe, the shooter. The Polk County, quite a bit to build on. Locklear picks up the foul. Her third. Team eight. Becca Harden makes the first end of the one and one. And she completes it. 132 remaining, 64-39, Panthers. There's Cox again. There's Cox again. She doesn't get the steal, but almost creates it. Locklear finishes. Locklear with a block. And she's off to the races. Corinne Hill with a rebound. Ball's out of bounds. Oh no, I'm sorry, foul is called. On number two, Kaylee Cox. Her first. She's played aggressive defense too without fouling. So that's, a, that's another positive for uh, future years for the Wildcats. Collins on the drive. Out of bounds. And Corinne Hill holds. And that's the final. Union County 66, Polk 41. I believe they're going to announce the all tournament team. So I think we're going to hold here just for a moment before we switch to our. We would like to thank both teams for their participation in the 26th annual Battle of the State Christmas Tournament at Towns County High School. We would like both teams to please remain on the court for the recognition of all tournament team selection. From Polk County. Here's a nice, nice show of sportsmanship by both teams. And that gets a deserved round of applause by both sets of fans right there. That's what sports are about right there. From Polk County High School, the Battle of the States All-Tournament Team Selection is number 11, Courtney Farr. Well deserved. I told you earlier that was my personal pick for it. Well deserved, and Courtney Farr. And from Union Farr. County High School, the Battle of the States All-Tournament Team Selection is Andalyn Hill. And Andalyn Hill from Union County, the number senior. 14. And we would like to congratulate the Union County Lady Panthers in their third place victory in the 26th Annual Battle of the States Christmas Tournament. And Union finishes third. That trophy picked up by senior Brooke Dockery. 
And we'll be back here shortly. We got, uh, we're gonna have the Hayesville game up, the boys consolation game. And we'll be back in about 10, 15 minutes after some words from our sponsors. <laughs> 